feel fit, I feel healthy, I feel good, I can keep up. Well, it really is an inspiring story and Kathy says that she did it by cutting out most of the junk food, eating what she wanted, when she wanted, and exercising. But does the old-fashioned approach work for everyone? Dr Amanda sainsbury Salas is a weight loss scientist. She's also lost a significant amount of weight herself. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, when did you decide to, to lose some weight? What, what triggered that? I was 93 kilos and I spent six years constantly trying to lose weight. And although every single diet would work for me in the beginning, I'd wind up hitting that wall, that plateau, where I'd stop losing weight and start feeling really hungry. So that's when I decided to start medical research so I could understand why it was so difficult to get over that plateau. Well, so you made it your job, almost. <laughs> Absolutely. Almost. And, yeah. and what did you find? Why is it so hard? Well, the reason why we hit that plateau and that wall is because once you've lost a certain amount of fat, your body perceives famine. And this triggers chemical changes in the brain that um, trigger a famine reaction, which slows your metabolism and makes you feel really hungry. On the other hand, new research is showing that in order to get around that survival instinct, it's important to eat enough food so that your body doesn't go into famine mode. I, su I suppose that's the, that's the trick though, finding out what is enough food. How do you do that for you? Because we're all different. Exactly, we're all different when it comes to what is enough food. That's why it's important not to follow what a diet says. If a diet says, oh, you know, you're only allowed this many kilojoules, but you feel hungry, it's important to eat when you feel hungry. On the other hand, if you're not very hungry and a diet says, well, eat five or six small meals a day, it's important not to eat mm. when you're not okay. hungry. So uh, the lady we were just seeing, Kathy, uh, obviously did the very old fashioned approach, isn't it? You know, I remember your grandparents always said, yeah. just simply eat less, exercise more. Is that the best way for most people to just go back to basics and forget all this fad stuff and eat more of something and less of something else? There's a lot of speculation about losing weight, but the science says the less you eat as you're trying to lose weight, the stronger your body's famine reaction will become and the more weight that you're likely to gain back when the diet all becomes too hard. So doing what Kathy did, which is what I also did to lose the 28 kilos, which is eating when you feel hungry and eating enough to feel satisfied, is going to make weight loss more okay. effective. Eat wholesome foods and get active as well. Uh, yes, of course, eating wholesome foods and getting active, that's very important. As you're eating, it's important to also allow yourself some fun foods. So oh. one of Kylie Minogue's birthday cupcakes that we had this morning, is for, that okay? For example, a cupcake here and there. When I was losing weight, I ate two Swiss chocolate truffles every day. If I didn't, I felt like I had withdrawal symptoms. So that was sort of like your reward, if you like, for being so good. It, no, it was a normal part of life for me. The thing is, when you're losing weight, as long as you're listening to your hunger and eating only when you're feeling hungry and stopping when you're feeling satisfied, and as long as you're eating your veggies and fruits every day, then there's no reason why you can't have a little chocolate or a glass of wine mm. every day or two. Oh, glass of wine. It's all very, <laughs> it's all very sensible. Um, and yeah. exercise is obviously the key too, isn't it? Exercise is, is essential yeah. for, for weight loss. I mean, of course, it's easier to make excuses about not exercising, yeah. but it doesn't have to, you don't have to get all hot and sweaty necessarily. Incidental activity will do the trick. For example, what I like to do is take the kids to the pool on Saturday and Sunday and just splash around and, and that's helping me to keep the weight off. Okay, take the stairs instead right. of the lift and all that sort of stuff. Public transport is also great because you walk a lot when you catch the train. Okay. So it all seems very Grandma sensible. Was right. Not a celebrity in sight telling us what to yeah. do or some nutty apple diet or whatever. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank Thanks, you for Amanda, that. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Nice to meet you.